Welcome back to Wealth and Wisdom. I just want to give God thanks and praise for all our listeners, Romeo Radio. You're listening also on Facebook. You're listening on YouTube. You're listening from the Caribbean, Africa, United States of America. Welcome back to Wealth and Wisdom. And we decide, we're going to be speaking about biblical principle can solve nation problems because there are many problems that are taking place globally. And, you know, one of the problems um, we are experiencing is uh, the deliberate act of businesses that has turned God away from being a part of their organization. And we are seeing now the effect of not having God as part of our organization. Now, regardless of the economic goal a nation has, it is extremely difficult to achieve them if the family is broken. So unless the institution known as family become a priority, those economic goals will not be achieved. And we must necessarily begin effectively dealing with things like common law relationship and children being born out of wedlock. It bring a bastard curse upon a nation. So we are speaking about biblical economics, how it can affect a nation and how we can solve nation problems. We can't achieve the movement from poverty to prosperity by ignoring moral values, nor by dishonoring biblical principle, which are God's laws to govern a nation. And Deuteronomy 2, 1 to 14 specifically teach us that day. Blessing belong to us when we adhere to God's laws and precepts. It is not about a few cash rich country that will get us on the path of prosperity. As they invest in a nation, they are going to get out more than they invest. Meanwhile, the next generation will have nothing to get. You know, a few years ago, the Lord revealed, while I was in prayer, that because a nation refused to practice biblical principle and instead looking to wealthy nation and people to bail the nation out, our sovereignty, sovereignty is going up to be at stake. The Lord also revealed that we would see many single-term administration and also that the poor would be the one to feel those woes the hardest. And he said, the land and the infrastructure would be out of our hands. So we will see Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 to 28 being fulfilled in our midst. Now, biblical principles teach us that nations should have a fair distribution of resources, and that can only take place when people look to God, who will teach us how to distribute the resources. We must look to God for help, and we must give thanks for the resources, and divide it equally and fairly. We must ensure that we are accountable for the fragment within the nation. There are a lot of wastage within the nation. The fragment also can mean the people within the nation, the poorer class of people within the nation, which has, you know, many have um, forgotten and have looked down on those people as not being contributing to the society when they have the wisdom and they have the solution what to do, but we have excluded them out of decision making. So even when nation budget to spend a certain amount, it is only when we commit to God that we can see it work according to God's plan. No politician can deal with the needs of the people. Only God can. Only with God's wisdom can job creation be genuine reality that gives work to islands instead of floating around the same pool of already employed individual. It is easy to write a financial plan, but are you getting the backing of heaven on your plan, on your organization, or the nation on a whole? 
Because as long as you're not getting the backing from heaven, then regardless of the plan that you have written, it will not come to pass. So regardless of how small our resources are, when we commit it all to him, he will turn it around. Nothing is too small to create a financial flow. And remember the five loaves and the two fishes. Before any physical or financial renewal can take place within a nation, there has to be spiritual renewal first. And then we will have the blessing and restoration of the land. Fertility will replace death and barrenness and spiritual and natural rain will fall and flow in a nation. Now, biblical principles speak against the divestment of nations' assets and resources. For years, nations have been warned to cease because all of these things would bring reproach on the nation, especially African and the Caribbean. Um, that is what most of them are doing. They are divesting their stuff. And many of them get advice from international lenders who have no interest in the develop of a nation and the poor. They are just looking in terms of what they can get back or what policy they can push on the people itself. So many politicians may not care because as far as they're concerned, it is in today principle, in today or tomorrow, sorry. We cannot speak of growing an economic economy when we don't practice biblical principle now tilling the ground and farming must be our number one focus for job creation and sustainable development management of human resources which include talents and gifts must be at the forefront for economic and social development if we look at the budget for third world nation those era are sorely neglected. So biblical principles support higher taxes for the wealthy. Everybody can't be paying the same tax rate. Even nations are assessed based on their ability to pay in several international circles. And there should be more some sort of assessment scale that allow those at the lower end of the pay scale to pay a lower tax rate and a ceiling set for those at the higher end that pay scale. Furthermore, putting leaders in strategic position need carefully spiritual guidance because they are, you know, in terms of when we're going to put leaders in certain particular areas. Amen. We need to seek God that who is the best person to place in, 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 to, in a strategic area. The most cr critical areas that nation will have to deal with are job creation, education for those age 5 to 17 years of age, um, migration, crime, violence, humanitarian relief, poverty eradication, houses for low-income persons, Exten extensive food program and occupational safety and health. The concept of biblical principle is not about dealing with just one set of persons. It is applicable to all for the benefit of all. And while many continue to ignore the principle and are looking to man and to other nations, we are about to see many countries plunge into famine, into fam famine. And we have seen, you know, famine, flood, food, water, all of these is now becoming at the forefront. And it is time for nation begin to accept biblical principle and allow God to advise you, allow God to give you insight how to turn a nation around because he's the one who gives power to get wealth. So I just want to give God thanks and praise to all our listeners, all our Facebook listeners and those listening on Romy Radio. I just want to thank you for what, you know, God is doing and, you know, you are listening right now that God will transform your life and that you will apply its principle on a daily basis within your organization. And I guarantee you that regardless of how you are struggling, that success will come when we look to God. You know, Psalms 121 says, I will lift my eyes unto the hills so whence come my help. He will turn your organization around. God bless you all from wealth and wisdom. 